Welcome to TechRazor with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. In which modes the Azure Data Factory pipeline can run? So that's a very easy question. And if you have worked on Azure Data Factory or uh, maybe you have practiced some Azure Data Factory pipelines, you will be able to answer this one. So now if you go to the Azure Data Factory, we create these uh, pipelines. Uh, those are ETL uh, um, objects uh, that can extract the data, make some transformations, and then load the data. Now in this uh, pipeline, uh, if you see right there, DL, uh, PL, uh, delete, uh, file the pipeline, uh, uh, I have it right here. To run this uh, pipeline, I have uh, this uh, debug mode. So trigger debug run on the current pipeline. So let's say you make some changes, you are developing something, you can always go to debug and execute it. So you're going to go ahead and hit debug and it's going to execute your pipeline. Now there is another way to do uh, run the pipeline. Uh, let's uh, get this completed. So this is completed now. Now otherwise uh, you will go to the trigger and then uh, you will say trigger now. So trigger on demand run on the last published pipeline. Um, so if you see right there, the one uh, debugger uh, that does not uh, have to be published. So let's say if I will uh, uh, just wait here. So let's go ahead and do this, right? So this is our pipeline. I have this uh, delete activity then I have wait activity so there are two activities right now if I will go ahead and debug these both activities will run but if I will go to the trigger now the only last publish was a delete so there was no wait there so it will run only this activity or the last published pipeline now uh, we can experiment this one I will show you so you will understand better so I'm running in the debugger. So in the debug, whatever the changes you are seeing here is going to run all of them. And uh, in the trigger now, it will run the last published pipeline. So see right there, these are completed. And uh, now if we click right there, um, right here, this is the delete one. And uh, now you have a uh, wait uh, activity as well. Okay, so that's uh, one of it. If I will say trigger now, you're gonna go ahead and say trigger, it's gonna trigger that. Okay, so that is uh, completed uh, as well. Now, if I will go and uh, do another one, that will be called, uh, you will be adding a trigger. So here I will choose a trigger and uh, then uh, I created a schedule trigger. So maybe every two minutes or one minute, I want to create a uh, run this pipeline. So this is our schedule trigger. So you can create a schedule trigger. So three ways you will run through the debug. You can, uh, that's going to run whatever the changes you have on that uh, pipeline. The trigger uh, now will run the uh, pipeline, last published pipeline. And then you have, a, you can create the trigger and then execute. To see all that, you will go to monitor here. And if you notice here right now, uh, this was this is running by the trigger. You can see trigger by trigger, right? And this is the manual trigger that we did when we said the trigger now. And if I go right there, see right there, I have only delete here and uh, only one activity because this was the last published pipeline. I did not publish the latest changes uh, that I made and the last published change, uh, last uh, change we made is that we added the delete activity. Now, if I go to the uh, monitor again, there is a other tab here called debug. So all those pipeline you run through the debug that comes here. If I go right here and uh, now you see that uh, in the debug, I'm seeing the delete activity as well as uh, the wait activity. So that's uh, the difference in the debug whatever the uh, activities you have even they're published or not they will run and in the trigger now you will run the uh, pub last published uh, pipeline and uh, then uh, uh, trigger will also run your published uh, uh, pipeline on some schedule or some uh, maybe if it is a uh, an event based trigger then uh, you know depending upon the event file drop or file delete or if it is a tumbling trigger the, you know uh, that also has uh, some parameters uh. so uh, three modes uh, you will say like okay you can run in debug and you can run uh, trigger now and then uh, you can run by the trigger and uh, that's uh, all the three modes uh, you're gonna see about the information uh, in the a monitor tab so you can see all those pipelines which are triggered by manual a trigger or they're triggered by schedule and then you can see other executions in the debug thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video